Yeah, can you hear me? Oh no, I'm here. Yeah, what did what did you think about it? I sent you an extra contract for it. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me now? Not really, no. Uh-oh, what did I do? Did I mess up something? Uh, how about now? I hear you now. Okay, yeah, I sent you an actual DocuSign with our purchase agreement. Uh, if you wanted to sell it, I didn't know if you got a chance to look at it. Yeah, I didn't hear nothing you said. Can you hear me better now? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Oh, I wonder why it's doing that. I don't know what's going on with the phone here. I was trying to see, uh, did you I get it? I'm getting a chance to figure it out. I don't know if it's that or what. Yeah, I was just trying to see, did you get a chance to look at the purchase agreement I sent you? Uh, I'm going to get over to your phone real quick. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. You said what? I don't know why I can't hear me. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can. Yeah, I was just trying to see, did you get a chance to see the purchase agreement I sent you about six days ago? The thing that you sent me on the phone? Uh, I sent you, it's actually through DocuSign. You should have got an email. Okay. Yeah, did you get a chance to see it? No, I didn't. Yeah, check your uh, email. I'll resend it to you. Um, let me see if I can okay. resend it. Um, I also want to know. I know they offered six, but you, you, you say they want to offer eight. Uh, oh, that's just the number there. Let me see what I got here. Let me pull it back up. Uh, let's see here. Logging back in. I'm gonna resend it to you because I got to see what was on there because we okay. we're, we buy a lot of properties all over, so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, you know. Right. True. Uh, this is for King. Uh oh. Yeah, 5413 Yeah. All right, so yeah, that one we put in for. So basically, uh, for our purchase agreement, we put in that we would buy the property as is. Uh, we even would pay the closing costs with the title company to transfer it. Um, and we okay. put on here uh, 7000 7000 Yes. So that's all Robert said? Yeah, 7000 We paid the closing costs and uh, we. Okay, that, that's fine. We send me the stuff today and then I will fill it out. Okay. Uh, did you want me to put her name on there as well? The Your girlfriend? She said she's on the yeah, title. Yeah, her name's on there too. Yeah, she got to sign off on it too. Uh, if you can send me a text with her email address as well, I'll add her to the DocuSign so she can sign off as well. Okay. All right. All right, any other questions for me before I let you go? No, that's fine. All right, that'll work. Thank you. All right. Boom. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe. And I'm right back at you with another real estate video. So we got a verbal uh, commitment. Somebody's going to sell their building up in St. Joseph, Missouri. Never been there. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Here. St. Joseph, Missouri. Um, we're going to put them under contract for $7,000. I think I can sell it for about fifteen. dollars So if everything works like I'm planning, make a quick AK and never had to go see the house, never see the building. It's not a house, it's actually a commercial building. But what's going on? Good to see you. What's up? Uh, Mike buys houses. Smooth face. Is your face really smooth? Smooth face, 29. What up? Uh, Belton, I see you. Marshawn, what up? Good to see you all. Hopefully you're having a good day after hump day thursday so yeah we are trying to get some people locked up today i'm just waiting on this guy to send his uh email address uh and see if we can add this girl this female onto his 
agreement so we can get it signed off and get this thing in escrow and try to get the deal done. So let's correct it real quick and add her. So yeah, come in hot. I ain't know he was gonna, I ain't know he was gonna get a contract in the first 10 seconds, but it's something I sent about six days ago. Came from Facebook marketing. Facebook marketing. Uh, we're gonna paste that. We're gonna put it. Let me make sure I got her name right. And we're gonna add this here. We're gonna say next. And then we're gonna add her at the bottom here so she can sign as well. Ooh, excuse me, as well. Seller. The seller. Miss Rachel. I, he on a property with his girlfriend. Forget wife, girlfriend. You gonna get a property with your girlfriend? What you trying to do? Be married? <laughs> so we're gonna add her on here. Let me make sure that makes sense. Yeah, you working on something, Mike? What you working on? You cooking up something over there? Or you just acting like you're cooking up something? Don't be acting. Let's see. Let me pull this up and make sure I got this name right. But they sound motivated. So they agreed to sell it for $7,000. i am going to go ahead and try to market this bad boy out. Uh, let's see if we can get this done. After he signs the contract, you don't know he's going to get put to work because I'm not even in town right now. Well, I'm not in town anyway. I wouldn't be in town anyway. It's a 100% virtual deal. So when you're dealing with a virtual deal, many times you can have the actual seller of the property help you sell the property. And that's the, the beauty of it. 54. I put in the wrong address. By sending me pictures. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make them do the work. Do the work before the work and after the work. Let me see here. Let me make sure I got her name right. Because I don't want to send this over and it be wrong. Yep, that's right. Got everything right. King Hill Drive, $100 earnest money. Purchase price, $7,000. 60-day inspection period. And then I'm going to put on here, um, close on or before. I'm going to change that. I'm going to say... 31 October. I'm going to give myself a long time to close it out. Does that mean 60 days? Correct. Boom. Well, who keep texting me? Um, people keep 60 days. That's right. I put long inspection periods, long times. Yeah, 60 days. I mean, you know, if they really want to sell, we can buy it. Well, I'm not really like, ooh, this, I need to change his name. Does this say Ray? He got his middle name on here, and I don't like when stuff say that. Well, it don't matter. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. So, yeah, we got a deal right out the gate. We're going to send this contract to him. Once he gets the contract, then we start on our dispo. Dispositions. Um, and try to work this her property out here. I do not have boots on the ground up there, though. That's the only tricky part. You know anybody in St. Joseph, Missouri? Because I don't. I don't even know how far that is from here. Let me see what it says on a map. I never even looked. Is that bad? I just started working a deal. So this, like I said, this deal or, or lead came from Facebook marketing. We got some Facebook ads going statewide. And so, um, with it being statewide, Oh, damn, it's all the way over there by, where is it set on the map? St. Joseph. Sheesh. Uh, oh, so it's north of Kansas City. Okay, I see where it's at. It's about, it looked like maybe an hour north of Kansas City, if I was to guess. On the Missouri side, St. Joseph, Missouri. Okay, so yeah, that's where they're at. And we're going to see if we can work something out with this. I ain't really trying to go up there. And I ain't. So. Let me text this guy back. And then we're going to get on the next phone call. I'm going to put in here verbal. Agreed. To 7,000. 
contract since. I should have got them down to six, hell. Because like I said, I think I could sell it for maybe somewhere between 12 and 15. But hey, if we get 15, that's 8K in the pockets. Ooh, what can you do with an extra 8K, Mike? Would that help you out a little bit? Would that make you feel better? I know it'll make me feel better, especially on a property. I ain't even got to go see it. All I got to do is talk on the phone and see if they home. So we got a couple more people to call. I got about several leads in here that I should have been talking to already, but we're going to do like that. So yeah, let's see who's next as a victim. Let's see who's next as a victim. Call the next person. So he called me. I was on the phone with somebody else, and then they called me, and I was getting ready to start this live. So I was like, hell, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. 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 What's up, Mr. Bailey? So, yeah, um, I'm about to make a couple more calls. Looks like we got one verbal contract, verbal agreement. Do I get points for the verbal? I get points for the closing. I don't even want no verbals. I don't want no contracts. I want closings. I only count closings because you can have a full board of deals like we always do. But they only count when they get to. Okay, so who's next? Let's pull back up my seller leads and let's get somebody on the phone and see if they home. Uh... I got this new light. It looks like it helps. Cause look, I was dark right there, but now I'm light. Bright light. Let's see. Aaron, who's Aaron? And then who's this? Six hours ago, some kind of scammer. On a bad phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that number ain't even good, so I can't call that. Uh, let's talk to Mary Lynn, somebody named Mary Lynn out in Chesterfield. Okay, so Mary Lynn wants, uh, asking price 525, uh, asked about the mortgage she's saying is being worked out, that's what she told my VA. Um, she wants to talk Wednesday afternoon. Oh damn, I was supposed to call her yesterday. I didn't notice that. My bad. Selling it all is cash. Back market value is about five hundred thousand, and she wants five twenty-five. Let me see. It looks like it's a. It's listed on Zillow. They want five eighty-nine for this house on Zillow, and it's been listed for one hundred and twelve days. I want to know why it hasn't sold yet. Why hasn't this property sold yet? That's what I want to know. So let's call Mary Lynn and see if she's our friend or if she's talking crazy. Hope not. Hope she's talking about selling the property. Let's see what we got here. So we're waiting on him to sign his contract. Once he signs, we can send it and dispo that bad boy because we'll have equitable interest in the property, which is what we look to get, equitable interest. And in our contract, it states we can put it on the MLS. So give me a second here. Let's see, I got a call. All right, where's her phone number? Mary Lynn. Marilyn, is it Marilyn or is it Marilyn? Oh, Marilyn, M-A-R-A, Marilyn, three, one, four. It's time for some follow-up calls, y'all. It's time for some follow-up calls, y'all. Follow-up, follow-up, pick up the phone, let's go, hello? So let's go, let go. And then we wanna record all calls for quality and training purposes. And let's see what she's talking about. Marilyn.
sorry, the party you are trying to reach has not set up voicemail on three one. Well, how'd you know they was gonna do that? They never answer on the first call. They never answer. But it doesn't deter me because we're gonna go and try again. Here we go. Give her a second, then I'll call again. Answer the phone, lady. Answer the damn phone. She'll be like, who is this? You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, wokereply.com. That's wokereply.com. So we'll try her again in a little bit. Let's see who else is on here. I got. I want to call this guy back in Florida. I forgot he wanted me to call him back too. When you don't do your follow-up calls like you should, you get backed up like this. I get backed up and I just hit everybody at once. Let me call, what is his name? Jack. There he is, down in Florida. Cape Coral. Cape Coral. Is it Cape Coral or Cape Coral? Uh, he's 80 years old. I'm going to call him from my Florida line. Florida only. Hey, Jack, this is Chris. How are you today? I'm good, you? Staying uh, cool. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, it's been pretty hot out. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Just about anywhere you go. Yeah, you can't yeah. hide out from it. It's probably even hot in Canada. <laughs> Believe that. I do. Most definitely. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, I just wanted to get back with you about the house over there. Uh, so I can see how we can yeah. work out any details, answer any questions, see what we need to do to move forward. Yeah, um, 
the only uh, and I did have a question about the property there too, uh, Jack. Uh, are they do they have any sure. restrictions in regards to like short term rentals things like that there? Have has it? Are there any restrictions like HOA restrictions or anything like that as far as short term rentals or no. things? Like that? So, no. so, so no. Not at all. That's the way I'm going to propose it because I, you know, I'm not getting much of. It's <laughs> taking me a while to get that. You can get back to me to see if we could actually work something out. So, you know, that's exactly the way I was going to present it is turnkey. You know, yeah. as is furniture included, so on and so forth, and other than a few personal items. And, and, and then you. It's, it's ready to, today, you know. Perfect. And so you said um, originally. Um, that you could possibly do one hundred thousand dollars down. Um, was that hundred thousand dollars down just to catch up the arrears of the loan, or is this what you needed in your pocket? Well, that this is what you know. The only thing that I'm going to be getting out of, it, you know, at that point, is the hundred thousand. And I'm saying that that might be. <laughs> A workable thing if it were a couple hundred thousand and then we had you know a note for the other two hundred thousand so so what is the plan so, so that's what i'm trying to figure out what is the plan to clear the ninety thousand in arrears on the property what is the plan yeah that's what i was trying to figure out what what is the plan to get that resolved with the lender well with the lender it takes Basically seven hundred thousand, and it's yours. Yeah, I understand that part. But what our plan was is to reinstate the loan to make it just stay in place, and so to catch up the arrears, it's about ninety thousand dollars. That's what I had in my notes here. How? Do, what do we do to get that part caught up? Well, I guess I'm. I'm at a total loss now with what your, your, your plan was, was to basically buy the house for the arrears. No, we were to buy it for the 1.1 million like you wanted, which is the purchase price yep. you wanted. And for us to be able to do that, we would have to structure something creative where we would keep the underlying debt of 697,000 approximately, leave that in place and just continue making that payment. Uh, and we would have to structure something separate for your equity left in the property, approximately another 300000 Which I'm saying is that that's, yeah, that's not going to work for me. Oh, so, so, not enough. so, that, so, so it wouldn't work for you. That's my next thing. You know, I've got to have more than $100,000. I did explain to you that, you know, we are 80-ish, you know, and, and this is where we live. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we for another looking for a place to stay, you know, and uh, I and you just think, well, go ahead, you know, here's a hundred, here's a hundred thousand to get you on your way. So were you looking to just purchase another property, or you were looking for a place to rent, or what was your uh, thing you were looking for? Well, I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but, I, but that would be a, a little more open, you know, if I had $200,000 to work with. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to just be honest with you, Jack. That would really kill the deal for us because we have to put a lot of money into the property. You know what I mean? Because that's why I said we, we still have yep. to address that 90000 in arrears. Our plan was, and that's what I was trying to make sure, was that 100000 that you needed down to catch up the 90000 in arrears? Or was that what you needed for you to be able to move forward to your next place? Okay, then why don't you walk through this? What do I get out of this deal? Uh, you $100,000? Get... So you get the full purchase price. So, so the number one thing you get is the exact price you're asking for, which is $1.1 million. But for us to come up to that price, we have to structure something creative. Because if we just buy just cash outright, we would probably be around six 
fifty, seven hundred thousand, which means you wouldn't get any money. We want to make sure you're getting some money for selling your property at the full price that you're asking for. Um, you know, so that's why we were looking at structuring something more creative like this for you. Um, but you know, for to structure something creative, we have to one address the arrears with the bank, which is approximately ninety thousand. That has to either be brought current or um, you know, something has to be done with that so we can keep the loan in good standing because we would just keep that loan in place and continue paying it, no problem. But so that's that's that takes care of the lender, the loan uh part of it. But for the second part of it, your equity, which is approximately four hundred thousand. If we were to give you one hundred thousand dollars down and make um, some type of payment to you uh, or to your heirs if you wanted to structure it that way because it doesn't have to be 30 years. We can set it up to where um, you know it's a shorter time frame. So for example, we did one with someone where we set it up to where we made payments to them and we set it up on a 10-year balloon, which means it need to be paid within a 10-year time frame. So we could structure something like that on this if that was you know helpful to make sure you get all of your equity cashed out without having to wait 30 years. Okay, and, and uh, I don't know, quick, run some numbers for me here. You're saying that if you did it that way, um, so, I guess first off, the, uh, <clears throat> the bank is going to have to be good with uh, paying the arrears. Yeah, so they, they, they're they definitely happy to take that. So say if we call them today and say, hey, what's your wiring instructions? We want to catch this loan up and put it in good standing. Uh, they will say, sure, they'd send us the wiring instructions. We'll wire them the money over and the loan will be in good standing again, just like nothing ever happened. And it will put you know positive reporting on your credit going forward and things like that. So that will put the bank in good position and your loan in good position and you will sell your house. However, for the second portion, which is your equity. So out of that 1.1 million, that purchase price you want, uh, yeah. that $400,000 difference, we would structure something creative with that, which would be giving you a down payment and structuring it where we would make you payments over time to get you cashed out in full and made whole on the property, which would get you your full asking price and have the price and stop the house from going into foreclosure because we don't want that to go into that. We would rather save that and get you as much money as possible. Okay, then talk some hard numbers here to me. Tell me what uh, you're saying you're going to, I get $100,000 at closing. Correct. And then you're saying $300,000, let's say it was uh, over 10 years. Yeah. And that would be not at $500 a month. Uh, you're talking paying it off in that period of time? No, you're not. You're talking about giving me a stipend to just let it linger for 10 years. Yeah, so we would get it cashed out, you know, sometime within that time frame. That's correct. It may not be the whole 10 years. It might be five years. But we could structure it where it would be a balloon payment do in full in 10 years or less. So that would okay, either go... What would, what would the monthly amount be that I would get with having uh, this CD? Yeah, so hold on. Let me check here. Let me pull up a calculator. Because your monthly payment on the house loan right now is, you say, about 2200 Or how much was it again? I don't know. It was twenty three oh six or something. If I were to continue back in, okay, back to March, yeah, of twenty twenty, so, it was like twenty three oh seven. Okay, so if we were to do a three hundred thousand dollars, um, yeah. So if, if if we even structured it as something like that, say five hundred dollars a month, I mean, would that help you out? No, a five hundred dollars. Having a hard time with that, you know. Just so, so, not, so. What sounds good to that, you? That, that's not 
not getting a real good return on, on uh, basically my lending you 300000 right? So, so what sounds good to you? What is the lowest you think you could do as a monthly payment? I'm talking, I'm talking 10 years at 120 months. And, you know, it takes $2,500, um, you know, a month would uh, pay it off. I understand. So, it, with their payment of twenty three oh six approximately, an additional twenty five hundred month to you, that would be about five thousand a month. That would probably kill the deal on our end because we couldn't cash flow for that amount. So, it wouldn't be anything in us in the deal worth us, uh, you know, putting the money into it. So, I'm trying well, to figure what 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 would be what would be suitable for you as far as a monthly payment to collect. Um, for a period of time until we get you cashed out. Well, the period of time is whatever you put on that piece of paper. You aren't going to bust your ass and get that done earlier, are you? Well, it depends. You know, every every case is different. We do want to cash flow it, and we want to do we do want to recoup our hundred thousand dollar investment plus any updates and repairs we do to the property because you know it's always going to be more expenses than we ever think. You know, plus the closing costs. You know, there's a lot of expenses, you know, rolled into this that we would be taking the brunt on. We would front the money basically on every part of it. So we want to make sure that it cash flows and makes sense for us and for you. You know, we want to make sure it's a mutually beneficial uh, deal here. So I've, I've been working with a uh, with a uh, verbal. You know, I had another hundred thousand renting this house. I was looking at you know close to five hundred dollars a night. You know you can can do that on, on a uh, short term rental. Possibly. That, you know, yeah. Well, possibly. I know, but I'm just yeah. Yeah. And you're telling me you have a hard time then getting you know with fifteen thousand dollars coming in a month, paying me twenty five hundred dollars. Well, that loan, we'd have to pay that loan, that 2300 a month, plus any, you know, yeah. any other additional fees, yeah. utilities. We have to furnish the property if we were to do that exit strategy. I mean, there's a lot of expenses that go in. I didn't want to, you know, go down that long rabbit hole, but we can. There's a lot of expenses that come into running, you know, uh, a short-term rental or even a traditional rental, any of this. There's expenses. We would cover all of that. I just did that, and I, I said, you know, it may, the furniture in here is, is is dated certainly, but it, it it's warm, it's friendly, it's open, and it's very much a desired uh, location. Yeah, I can understand that. And other, so 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 what what as far as a monthly amount would be suitable for you? I didn't say anything. I'm just I'm just trying to structure a deal. I can't say if we can or can't. It depends on what our payments are and our situation. But that could possibly kill the deal. Too much on the front end like that could kill the deal. Just being I'm just being upfront with you, Jack. Like I've always been from our first conversation. You know, if you if we put too much in on the front end, it would make us it would make it not appealing. Just being honest, because we still have to address that ninety thousand in arrears, unless you want to pay that out of your money. Then we still have to address, you know, a hundred thousand to you. Then we have closing costs, uh, any updates to the property, any utilities going forward, all of the other expenses in regards to holding real estate, which you know they are very expensive. We pay all of that, so we have to come up with all of the money for the whole deal, all of the money, and all of the responsibility, the maintenance, the management. You know, all of this stuff costs money. Somebody got to pay it. So we're willing to pay, but only to a certain point. So that's why I'm just asking as far as your three, if we were to do $100,000 down and to structure something on a $300,000 in equity that would be remaining, 
how do, how can we structure that that makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside? You're going to live to be 160 years old? Oh, wow. <laughs> Give me some of that stuff you're drinking. <laughs> I want some. <laughs> I got stuff that I take. Right. Oh yeah, you get your full price. So you're so in essence, regard after the loan, you're getting exactly what you're asking for. Four hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. It's just over time. It's not going to be in one big chunk. You know that hundred thousand dollars down. If we were able to do that, that would put that hundred thousand in your pocket at closing. That's what you walk away with, cash in hand. The remaining three hundred thousand dollars in equity would be made over time. So. We're, we, we are able to structure something that actually solves your problem, sells the property as is condition, get you your full asking price. I mean, it sounds like a good situation, Jack. No, I'm not saying it. I'm just reading it. Yes, and I just have to come out of it. Well, that's, that's my concern. Because, okay. you know, you know and, and, and if we just go back, say if we were just to buy it outright just cash, we would only be around 650 close to 700 cash buying it, just done. That wouldn't give you any money. And that's really anybody that would buy a cash. I, I looked at the comps and the numbers. Uh, a straight cash purchase that's being done, you wouldn't really net anything. This way, you're getting exactly what you're asking for. Chris, I've, I've had, and I have, $825,000 cash purchase offer. And another, another one that's, uh, you know, higher than that, but I, I was wanting to get, maybe be more creative so that I could get, you know, closer to the million one, which is less than worth, but. Yeah. So at 1.1 million, just to be clear, we're paying over retail. We're not even paying retail price. We're paying over retail. So only because we, or if we're able to structure something creative, we can pay more like that. So, you know, with you, you know, like I say, if you're, if you want to leave the money or the payments or this whole thing set up to where it's structured to go to your wife or your heirs or whoever you wanted to, we can help set that all up to make sure that they are receiving these funds each and every month until it's paid off. Okay, and what would be your incentive to sell us? I'm sorry, what is our incentive to? As I see it, I think it's going to be a vacation rental for whoever purchases and it's going to do well. and uh, I don't understand why they would sell it well we would either sell it or refinance it at some point in the future we don't hold these properties you know forever our on average we hold the properties between seven and ten years that's just on average that doesn't mean you know every case is different because things change rules change laws change Something may come in next month and say, you know what, uh, this area can no longer do sh any type of short-term rentals, or this area has an HOA and they don't allow this. Things change in real estate. You know that. 
As a matter of fact, Airbnb itself all across the United States has been taking a hit. I don't know if you know that or not, but you know, there's a, a lot of things that change. And so when things change, we have to be able to pivot to still either cash flow a property, sell a property, liquidate it. And if we pay over retail at $1.1 million, it's going to be hard to sell it at that. Who we're going to sell it to? You know what I mean? If, if we don't structure it in a way that makes sense to some other end buyer in the future. which is all the risk that we're taking. And we're putting our money where our mouth is. We're putting money into it. Not just a promise. We're putting money in your pocket at closing. So if we were to structure this like this with $100,000 down um, and setting up a payment on your equity, which is approximately $300,000, um, what about that would not work for you? Okay, so you're, you're saying all of this, all this is hinged on whether or not you can work with uh, banks and pay off the arrears. So, uh, we would have to figure something to do with those arrears. Now, that, that, that's why I say there's a, that's a lot of moving parts here, and that's why I try to break it down into pieces. You know, if it's about 90000 in arrears, either that would have to be paid or we may be able to structure something where it gets uh, put on the back of the loan where we would just have to pay it part of the loan, but that's probably going to raise, uh, you know, the monthly payment and raise the interest rates. Cause you know, all the interest rates are up now. What's your interest rate now, Jack? Oh, I already went to four and a half and I'm Yeah. So, so yeah. So if we were able to structure something where either that was either paid at ninety thousand dollars, or we were able to get the bank to to put that on the back of the loan of some type of a way, they're probably going to increase the interest rate on the property as well. See, as I say, there's a lot of moving parts that we would have to deal with. This wouldn't be any of your problem, by the way, Jack. We would structure all of this. Well, it is my problem because it's, <laughs> it'll determine whether or not you can do what you say you're going to do. I think that makes it my problem. Um, because I, when I'm working with a loan modification, you know, they came back and they said they weren't interested. Uh, currently, this was at 6th August, but I, I do have a, um, an appeal process. And that's the um, thing. And, and that's the thing, Jack, when, you, when you're trying to do those loan modifications, they're going off your income. So if your income does not support the loan modification, they won't do it. But we do have some strategies where we're able to get around a lot of those things, just depending on the situation. Right. But if all else fails, they're going to want that 90000 in arrears in their bank account that you know hasn't been paid in a couple of years so they, they're going to want that money well i know what they're on uh, and, and that's some of the things that i know uh people have gone in and negotiated that away it's because of what are and this is all all came about with COVID, a couple of hurricanes, you know what I mean? That's, mm -hmm. It's something that they've been raised financially to forgive. And bank. Oh, wow, that's cool. So, yeah, if they yeah. were able to do that, then that make that helps out a whole lot right there. That, that takes care of a huge obstacle. It's an obstacle. It can be overcome. But it's still, you know, somebody has to go through it, has to run that gauntlet. Got it. Well, I, you, you've explained yourself well and I understand where you're coming from. And uh, I, I keep looking, I guess, and, and 
it's getting more and more certain that it's all it outright. So you telling me you had somebody that was willing to buy for eight twenty five? Is that what you said? That's correct. Is there a reason reason you did not sell it to them? Yeah, I want more money. More money, I know that's right. So I mean, I, I'm sure our purchase price is higher than everybody else's because, like I said, we're paying over retail at one point one million. So you know. Well, that depends on what buying it. You know, turkey or you're buying it empty and a lot of things. And you haven't seen the property either. So. That's correct. I've got a 170 foot of seawall here. And I'm on Port Frederick Canal, but there aren't any others like it. All right. So. so, I mean, is this something you, you need to look into more? Or what, what kind of questions did you have as far as making a decision? Oh, you your questions and I understand totally what you're, you know, what you're up against and what your, uh, your plan would be when going into it. And that you, you stand firm with basically what you've told me and that, you know, it just isn't quite for me. I mean, I, I just think that I can get someone to work with me where I can get more, more cash back to me sooner than what you what you extended to me. How much sooner are you so looking to get? Well, I'm just talking about, you know, between the two two items where my cash is concerned, one is the the carry, how much we carry and how much we put down. My four hundred thousand dollars and how it's going to be dispersed back to me. And I'm just I, I just know for a fact that $500 a month that you had on your offer is just that, an offer. And it's just an offer, Not, exactly that. And, and and I know you said stand firm. These We're just having a conversation. So none of this is stand firm until we can, you know, figure out what makes sense. And so that's why I'm trying to figure out what is it that you would like it to be. I understand the down payment part. What do you want it to be as far as the monthly payment part on your $300,000 in equity if we were able to do the 100000 down? How is it structured? The amount that we put into, let's say, let's say we've got the uh, the three hundred thousand that you're working on, and we're going to pay it off. Let's say, Aaron, you would say, make it a seven or ten year balloon. What is what is the highest monthly payment I can look at if I'm if I'm going seven to ten years. Ten I'm, years I mean at three hundred and that's twenty five hundred a month if without any interest, period. That's just that's what it would be. Mm hmm yeah, so I mean, we don't. So, so our thing is, we want to get it as low as possible, you know, because like I said, we're looking to cash flow. We're we're putting the money in to hopefully get money back over time in the future. So it's not like we're going to okay. get it back, you know, tomorrow or something. It's it's gone once we wire over a hundred thousand dollars plus all the other f expenses. That money's gone until we make it back. It's going to take time to make it all back, which we're we're fine with making an investment. But we're just trying to figure out where would you want to be on a monthly payment that makes you happy that's that's something we can actually do well tell me this if, if we go, go into this it sounds like you're, you're taking it uh, kind of pretty lightly that it would be something that i could hand you the keys to the house and you could rent it tomorrow and you're <laughs> and you're telling me about all these expenses that you're going to incur in order to do that, uh, like uh, working with somebody like Rubo or Airbnb, uh, and they take care of the other things unless you do your own management. I, I don't know, but yeah. I, that's where I'm at. I don't 
follow you, you you've got all this tremendous surge of money that you're going to take care of when you've come in and you paid nine thousand dollars to take care of the arrears, and you're giving me a hundred thousand dollars. You get two hundred thousand dollars involved in a uh, property that's worth a million bucks. Plus closing that's costs. Twenty percent. You know, Plus. Yeah. Closing costs with who? But that's but that's still real money. You know what I mean? If it's two hundred thousand dollars to get into a deal, that's real money that's gone into the deal, and we don't get that back for years to come. That's not coming back next week or next month. It takes a while to get that back. Which we're willing to make that investment, but we just want to make sure you're happy with everything and it makes sense to you. Where you're actually getting exactly what you're asking for: one point one million dollars for the property. We're taking over the underlying debt subject to of approximately 700000 We make that payment to the bank, and then we make a separate payment for your equity, which would be approximately $300,000 after that $100,000 payment at closing. So as far as a monthly, I mean, ideally, we would want to be about where it's at already at the 2300 but I'm trying to structure it in a way to where you actually get more out of it you know and it, we don't know how long it's going to take until we do something different with this property so that's why we just structure them with a 10-year balloon or something like that so that you know there is a deadline date this whole four hundred thousand dollars that that we are buying it for that's giving it to you is going in your pocket sometime within that time frame it might be five years it might even be three years but i'm not going to give you a promise we can't deliver on so i'd be realistic and just say if we set it up on a 10-year balloon you get all your money i mean what about that would not work for you the five so what how much so 500 a month wouldn't work what would work for you So what what is it? What would it need to be as far as a monthly payment to you to make you feel good? Because oh, remember, you're getting a hundred thousand in pocket first, so you got that to spend and do whatever you want to with. Then you're getting a monthly payment over time, so you're getting your full equity, full asking price. And like I said, I don't know. Uh, any other way to get you over retail for the property? One point one million dollars. Keep saying that. I don't agree with it, but I understand I'm getting a fair price for it. Yes, in today's market. Yeah, because you know that. I mean, with you being a real estate agent, say if you listed it and so and put it on the MLS for one point one million dollars, you won't get the full one point one million. It would be a whole lot less, right? So, so what is the biggest thing for you, uh, Jack? Is it more important that you get more of the money sooner? Fifteen hundred. Yeah. So you're saying if I can get this structured in a way where we can buy your property for the full price of one point one million dollars, one hundred thousand dollars down, uh, keep that loan in place, set up something for your equity for the three hundred thousand dollars, 
uh, $1,500 a month with a balloon payment in 15 years. I'm sorry, in seven years, $1,500 a month in seven years, you'll be ready to get the process started today. No, it's not a CD. It would be set up. Uh, what we do is we set up through a third party servicing company and they make that monthly payment to your lender and they make a monthly payment to you each and every month. Usually it's on autopilot. So it's not a CD. It's just a monthly payment that you will receive for your equity each and every month. And what do I have backing up? So we what can. Is, what, what backs up my 300 I'm glad you asked that. So you would get the exact same documents that the uh, that the bank has. A promissory note and a mortgage basically structured as a second lien position on the property. Just like the bank has a first lien position, you would have second lien position to secure your interest in the property. The same exact documents that the bank use. Well, the lender is going to be first position, so you could only be in second position. So you will always have that second spot in it. Uh, right. So the only way to get in yeah. first position is to pay off the first. So they would be paying out seven hundred thousand dollars. So we couldn't do yeah. anything with the property. It would always have you would have a lien position in the property to secure your interest. So say if we were to sell it three years from now or something, you would have to be paid off. You, your, your lender and you would need to be paid off in full for us to sell it or refinance it or do something with it, say, three years from now. Okay. So we do everything in our, in our, uh, in our power to protect you in the deal. The same documents that the bank has, you would have those as well. Let me, let me, let me, can I noodle on that a bit? Yeah. And get back to that. I think, I think we're closer to something I can move with here. Um, I just want to make sure. I'm... Yeah, I can definitely understand that. And if you could, Jack, uh, while you're doing that, if, if it's possible, if you can get a copy of your mortgage statement, that would help us as far as uh, making sure we get everything proper for our documentation. If you can get a copy of that. Because it'll have a, a copy of your mortgage statement. It'll tell your interest rate, the arrears, all of that stuff. If you have the most recent one, that would help a lot. So we can make sure we get everything structured properly. I can just send you a uh, uh, screenshot. Yeah, a screenshot will be perfect. Exactly. And then, and then you know, ponder on this. I'm going to walk through this one more time. Sure. Because you sounded like you were supposed to possibly working this one out at uh, $100,000 down. And I'm just going to do over my thing. You know, what you have to do with the bank, that's your business. But with me, we're talking about $100,000 down. And then a $300,000 note, promissory note, that you were willing to set it up for 70 years. Is that correct? That's correct. We can set it up for a seven-year yep. balloon, which means it needs to be paid off. Your equity needs to be paid off in full within that seven years. That can be two years from now. That can be the full seven years from now. Either way, it needs to be paid off in full. Your equity. Okay, but you, you will pay $1,500 a month while we're working towards that. Is that correct? If we can do that, correct. What do you mean if we can do that? If we can set it up to do $1,500 a month to you 
and pay your underlying debt. That's what I was asking. Would that be something that would work for you? Gotcha. Okay. Let me uh, let me just make sure I've got my numbers right in my head. Okay. Yeah. No problem. And I, my wife is a she's a uh, she's been the banker. I guess. <laughs> uh, She's got a master's degree in accounting, so she, she knows numbers and should some things should just tell me, are you out of your walking mind or what, you know? Right. I just got to make sure I'm not doing something really stupid. Yeah, I mean, and I don't, I mean, and, and that's good. Check with your wife, make sure she's happy with everything. But, you know, like I say, it, it, it actually solves your whole problem and gives you exactly what you're asking for. You know, it's, it's really kind of clean and simple, I think. But, you know, check with her, see if that makes sense to her and you. And if you have any questions, we can uh, reconvene and have another conversation about it. Because I want to make sure everything is makes sense to everybody. You know, I want to make sure she's happy, you're happy, and we make this all uh, work for you. Yeah. Okay, and I'll send you uh, a mortgage statement. Perfect, perfect. Other than that, any questions before I let you go now, Jack? No, that's good. I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me, and uh, let's, let's see if we can play and let's make a deal. Um, the other thing is, is that we come to an agreement like this, and you're saying um, you don't even know if you're going to use it as a vacation rental, but... Uh, how much time do I have? Say we let's say we're gonna we're gonna close this deal in thirty days, something like that. How much time do I have to get out of the house? How much time do you need? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna take, you know, I'm, I don't know. I mean, we're really flexible on that, Jack. So you know, I don't wanna. Uh, get, yeah, we're really flexible on that. So I want to make sure that we actually uh, make it so you can, you know, move to wherever you're going to move to. So we can work with you. We're flexible on all of that stuff. So. Okay, and you're pretty sure that this deal that you're talking about is going to be a turnkey, or you don't? You want me to get rid of my furniture? We we would take the property as is. You don't have to get rid. So this is my thing, Jack. My whole goal is to make this easy for you. I'm not looking to make you do a bunch of work, a bunch of getting rid of stuff, a bunch of this, you know, all of that stuff. That's our our selling proposition. We make it a clean, easy sell for you. You know, we're not trying to make you rush to hurry up and find a place to move to. We know it takes time, you know, uh, find a place to get rid of stuff for and donate and do yard sales. And, you know, all of this stuff is hard enough. Our whole thing is make this easy for you, Jack. All right. Any other questions? No, I thank you for your time, and uh, I will send that to you as soon as I can find it, little fucker. <laughs> um, back to you. Perfect. I don't know. Within a day. No oh, problem. Yeah, take your time, and uh, we'll we'll reconvene, and we'll get the details ironed out, and uh, get this thing set up for you pretty easily. All right. All right, thank you. You have a good day, okay? Yeah, you have a blessed rest of your day as well. All right, bye-bye. Boom! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We make the process easy. You like that? I'll be stealing my closing terms. I see y'all taking notes over there. Got your, got your ink pens ready. So what you think about that call? So when it comes to these creative deals like this, you're not going to close them in the first phone call. That's like our third call. We're still working out the details to try to make it structured properly. You're not going to close them on the first call. You have to go through the process and go through the steps. Um, so I'm finna, uh, I got a call coming in that I got to take right now, guys. So I'm going to catch y'all on a later thing. Post in the comments what you think about this video. Follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's YouTube. That's TikTok. And you know we own Clubhouse. Check me out. 
I'll try to save this video and I might repost it too. So with all that being said, do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Woo! Peace.